Hey everyone, it's Jordan, Millionaire Millennial. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so and click that bell so you get notified anytime that I release a new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the fee structure on Amazon. I've had a lot of questions of people asking about the fees, how all the FBA fees work, closing fees, variables, and all this different stuff. You need to know how the fees work in order to be sure that your product will be profitable. So in this video, I'm going to run through all the fees when selling on Amazon. You, you play, play. So jumping into my computer here, I've got a Word doc that has all of the fees when selling on Amazon. So these are all the applicable fees. Um, I'll probably make this Word doc available for you guys to download. I'll probably uh, upload it somewhere um, so you guys can download it because it's got also all the charts down here for all the different fees. And uh, we'll get into that in this video. So the first fee that you probably are going to be looking at is the referral fee. And this is going to be charged whether you're doing FBA or whether you're doing uh, Merchant Fulfill, which is 8 to 15% of the sale price, and that is based on the category. All right, so we'll get into that when I scroll down on which categories are cheaper to sell in. It does not necessarily mean you shouldn't sell in the other categories. It just means that certain categories have different fees. Um, you're also going to have a closing fee, um, which is variable. All right, um, this is a variable on media products. All right, so like DVDs and stuff, and typically that's one to two dollars. Um, so if you're not selling media products, you don't really need to worry about that one. Um, and then you have the non-professional versus professional seller. Um, so anybody that sells more than 40 units a month needs to be a professional seller, because as you can see here, if you're not a professional seller, if you're an individual seller, you're gonna be paying 99 cents for every product you sell. All right, so every product you sell, you'll be charged a 99 cent fee for that product. If you're a professional seller, which costs $40 a month, right? So you're paying $40 a month, but you don't have that fee anymore. So when you upgrade your account to a professional seller, you don't pay this 99 cent fee. This goes away, right? But you're charged $40 a month. So for example, if I'm selling 100 products a month, I if I did not have a professional seller account, I'd be paying 100 extra dollars in fees, right? If I do have a professional account, then I'm only paying $40. So if you're selling more than 40 units per month, probably you should just grab a professional account. You can not upgrade at any time, so maybe start individual and work your way up to professional. But if you're selling more than 40 units a month, you need to be on a professional selling plan for sure. All right, then you have the FBA fee, which is based entirely on the dimensions and the weight. And we'll get down, um, that's down below, and we'll get to that in a second. You also have the storage fee, which is also based on dimensions and weight. And then you have shipping, which is a, you're typically a very big variable. So if you're doing private label, you're going to have to have uh, one or two methods of shipping. If you're doing private label, it means you're having products made in overseas, like in China or something like that. And then you're importing those either to the United States or maybe uh, to UK, Canada, wherever you might be selling. So you can either do one of two things. You can have it shipped to your house and then ship it to Amazon, or you can have it shipped directly to Amazon. Um, if you have it shipped directly to Amazon, you'll pay shipping one time. Right? So you pay shipping directly to Amazon. All right? And that can vary so much. I really cannot put a number on that because it, it depends on how big the shipment is, how much it weighs, the, the volume, you know, how fast you want to get it there. If you want to do air shipping, it's going to be way more expensive than doing ocean shipping. Um, I usually like to ocean freight almost all my products that are big. Um, but I've paid anywhere between, you know, $150 to $2,500 in shipping for different orders. So, you know, these are huge orders, by the way. You're not going to pay $2,500 for like one product. This was a, a shipment of, I think, uh, maybe a thousand products or something like that. And they were big and they were heavy. And I was really naive at the time. Um, this was after I first started and I shipped it via air. Um, don't ship, don't ship huge, heavy things in the air because it's very, very expensive and I found that out the hard way. Um, so that's why I'm telling you guys, if you've got very big, heavy products, basically, if it's bigger than this, you know, so maybe like two fists together, if it's bigger than this and it weighs more than like a pound or two and you're shipping like hundreds of units, do Ocean Freighter, it'll be a lot cheaper, okay? So if you're doing arbitrage, all right, then you're picking stuff up either locally or online. If you're buying things online, you have to pay shipping to your house, right, or to your third party fulfillment company and then you have to pay shipping to Amazon, right? So you're paying shipping twice if you're doing arbitrage. It does not mean that arbitrage is, is a bad business model at all. Uh, it just means that that's a price that is a cost you have to be aware of. 
I still love OA. I still do OA today, and I still make a lot of money on OA, even though I'm paying shipping twice, right? Because it's not super expensive when you're shipping in bulk, all right? And shipping into Amazon, all right? So let's say you have all the products at your house, you're doing RA or you, you did OA, but either way, you're gonna have a lot of products at your house, then you have to ship all of those into Amazon's warehouse, right? And, and Amazon offers really, really cheap shipping with UPS and FedEx. So ship via UPS and FedEx and um, at least in the United States, you'll get a very big discount on your shipping. So that's the breakdown of the fees you'll be charged, but how much exactly are these FBA fees and these storage fees? So um, here's a link that's to FBA calculator, all right? FBA calculator uh, is the absolute best calculator for calculating all your fees on Amazon. If you're not using it, you need to be, all right? So that link's in there. Um, I'll put that link in the description as, as well. And this is the page you'll see. What you'll be asked for, is is a is a find your product on Amazon. That's what it's going to come up with. All right. So this is the ASIN number. All right, which I got from going to the page of the product I want to sell, and you can get it from two places. You can get it from up here in the top bar. It's the number that starts with B zero. All right. So this is this is the ASIN number. Every product on Amazon has an ASIN number. You can also scroll down to the description, and it will be right here. All right. So in, under additional information. This is the ASIN number, all right? You wanna copy that and just put it right in here, okay? So then you hit search and the product will come up. If it doesn't come up, try searching it via the title, all right? So literally just copy the title and put it into the search bar. Um, sometimes the ASINs aren't linked right and it doesn't show up. But once you get it, all you have to do is fill out a couple of things. If you're gonna be fulfilling it, so that means you have the products in your house and you're shipping them directly to customers. Once again, I don't recommend that you do this, but if this is what you're gonna do, you'd fill out this column right here. All right, this is the column you'd fill out if you're doing that. If you're doing Amazon fulfillment, right, FBA, then you just fill out these three these three blocks, all right? So let's say we've got a bunch of these little safes that we wanna sell, okay? And they're selling for, let's just say $13, all right? So we're gonna sell for $13. How much is it gonna to cost to ship to Amazon? Typically, you can ship to Amazon uh, rel relatively cheaply. So let's just say, um, how much do these weigh? These weigh four pounds. We could probably ship this to Amazon if we bought in bulk, right? A big, large bulk. We probably ship them for maybe a dollar per unit, right? So this is per unit price. So if we bought like 20 of them, it may cost, you know, 20, maybe $30 in shipping. Let's say, let's say a dollar 30, all right? Cost of products. All right, this is the cost that you paid for the product. So let's say I bought these safes for like three dollars in a big like wholesale, or I have them manufactured or something like that. And then you can calculate, right? So it looks like my net profit for these products is a dollar twenty-three, and you're getting a nine and a half percent margin. I consider that pretty bad. Um, you're basically getting a dollar for spending three dollars, um, which is about a thirty-something percent return, which isn't too bad. Uh, but the fact that the net profit per unit is so low, I probably wouldn't actually sell this product if this was the case. But I'm not selling this product, so this is just an example. And then we've got the fulfillment by Amazon fees, okay? And obviously it's not applicable if you're selling it directly yourself, um, but it will be applicable if you're selling it on Amazon FBA. So we've got $5.52. That's broken down into monthly storage and fulfillment fee. And then we've got the uh, selling on Amazon fee, which is that, that referral fee I was talking about, which is 15% of the buy price. Um, I didn't put anything in here, but if I put 13, it'll change this to uh, the same price. So you're gonna pay the same price whether you fulfill it yourself or fulfill it on Amazon. So everyone, I hope that clears up any questions you had about fees. I tried to be pretty thorough. Uh, if you have any more questions, check this document and go to those links because that's gonna be exactly from Amazon, how much they're charging for fees. So read through that. And if you have any more questions, of course, feel free to ask and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.